come for a wig fitting for Cinderella. I'm so excited. I completely forgot I had this today and then suddenly got a message yesterday saying, wig fitting. So, yay. Really good. So this is what I'm gonna look like for Cinderella. This is the look that we're going for. Thoughts? Yeah, yeah? great. I think great. it's a perfect look. It'll go really well with the sheer plastic outfit. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, great. It's sheer. Hello everyone. Um, I feel like I'm at a bit of a loss with videos because I was so geared up to spend Vlogmas in a theater and to do a traditional Vlogmas where I'd be busy and out and about and even though it would be slightly weird because of COVID, it would be more interesting to watch than a COVID Vlogmas, which would literally just be me at home doing house stuff. Um, but I've started now and I'm gonna finish. So Vlogmas might not be that interesting from here on out, I warn you now. Um, for the last few days, me and my mum have been going for socially distanced walks um, around where we live and we're gonna be going again in a little bit, but it looks pretty miserable. I'm really hoping it doesn't rain, touch wood. But that's been nice. It's been nice to spend a bit more time with her and um, catching up on like family stuff and just, yeah, just catching up on how everyone is and what's been going on that I've completely missed. I've got my Christmas food shop coming tomorrow um, and I got a frozen turkey crown. I had ordered one, but then went into a supermarket the other day and they had one on the shelf and so I was like, I'm just gonna get this one just in case the food shop does that really annoying thing where they say it's in stock and you order it and then on the day that you're meant to get it, they're like, sorry. Or they substitute it for something ridiculous, like a singular chicken leg. I'm trying to focus on all of the positives because I feel like that's the only thing any of us can do right now. And the one positive I'm taking from this, I have always been in a show over Christmas um, and usually you get Christmas day off, um, but on Christmas Eve, you usually have a matinee. So then you get Christmas Eve evening off, Christmas day off, and then you go back to normal on Boxing Day. Um, and if it happens to be a day with two shows, you go and do your two shows, um, but everyone hopes that it's a day with just an evening show. So you've got some of the day. And for some reason, Boxing Day has always been my favorite. I don't know why, I think it's always just had the best TV, in my opinion. There's always been things on Boxing Day that I've wanted to watch in particular. Um, and I think it's just because it's less pressured than Christmas Day. And I think as a kid as well, if I got presents, I was a real arts and crafts child. The things that I wanted for Christmas were like things that I could make, like kits and paints and pencils and pads and stuff. So Boxing Day for me was like the best day ever because if I was around family, I couldn't really open it and start doing it because sometimes it would be messy. So Boxing Day was the day when I could open it at home and just go crazy with all the stuff that I'd got for Christmas. And Boxing Day still holds that excitement for me. So even though I don't get the same kinds of presents anymore because um, I'm a 28 year old and not an eight year old, um, even though part of me still wishes I did, um, Boxing Day feels like the day when it's really exciting to sort of look at what you've got and even though what I get now is like, you know, maybe a hot water bottle and a fluffy dressing gown, it'll be the day that I get really excited to use those things. And I'm aware that there are people who work through Christmas doing jobs far harder than mine. There'll be people working through Christmas this year. Um, but just on a personal note, it's, um, exciting to me. Trying to find positives where I can and I'm excited about. Um, having those three like main Christmas days off and New Year's as well. Um, it looks like we're gonna be off for New Year's and New Year's is always harder with shows because last year in particular we had, do we have two shows on, on New Year's Eve? We definitely had a show in the evening which means I finished the show at half 10 um, and then had to rush home and it takes me about an hour, just over an hour to get home. So I got home like 20 minutes before midnight. And I remember I was a little bit gutted because all my friends had come over. I was like, come over from like six or seven o'clock. Ollie will be here, Scott will be here. Um, enjoy the booze and the food. Um, so they were all sending me texts and pictures and stuff whilst I was at the theater, whilst they were all here. And I was just like, oh, I really wanna be there. I wouldn't really wanna be celebrating with everyone. And obviously I can't have a big New Year's party like I would like to, um, but it'll be exciting not stressing getting home for New Year's Eve. Um, 
don't get me wrong, I would rather be working, I would rather be at the theatre, um, I'd rather, all theatres were open, but with the way that it is, I'm just excited to enjoy Christmas and New Year's. I also have a lot of sorting out to do. Um, as I said in my last video, my office is just filled with boxes and there's nowhere for it to go at the moment. The same guy, Dan McKinley, who did these shelves for me, um, I've asked him to do my office upstairs as well, which he can't come and do until March because he's so busy, which I completely understand because these shelves are the best investment I've ever made in my life because they are just so incredible and he's so super nice as well. So I'm really thrilled that he's got as much business as he has, especially during a time like this. Um, but it does mean I've got to wait until March. I can't have the office the way that it is until March. I need to go and sort it out. And there's so much as well that I've not even seen since like April last year because the boxes have just been closed and moved from house to garage to the office so for the next few days i'm gonna start opening boxes which is a terrifying notion but there's so much stuff in there that i can just get rid of so i, I reckon there's sort of at least 30 percent of the things in that room that i just don't need that i can just get rid of which would obviously free up a lot of space and make the room a lot neater so that is a job i also have some cameos that i need to do so again for the next few days going to be going through them I'll try and make it as interesting as I can, I promise. <laughs>